Hello everyone, my name is Rodion. This time I'm going to show you how to use new features of the pivot table element in dashboards. First of all, I'm selecting sorted direction for rows and columns labels. Before that, rows and columns labels could be sorted only by ascending. You couldn't change sort direction of labels. Now this direction is used by default. Open the pivot table editor, select data columns with the labels of the rows or columns and change a value of the sort direction property. You can sort rows and columns labels by ascending, descending or none. If you select none sort direction property, the labels will not be sorted and their order will be as well as in the data source. Before you select sort direction for labels of detailed rows and columns, you should create them. For example, open the pivot table editor and add some data columns to rows and columns. Now, the pivot table contains a list of continents that is detailed by countries. Please note that sort direction is selected for each data column of the rows and columns fields. Labels of the parent and child rows or columns will have different sort directions. For example, I am adding the same data for rows and columns of the pivot table, but I am using different sort direction for parent and child labels of the pivot table rows and columns. By default, rows and columns are collapsed when you use detailed fields in a pivot table. You can expand or collapse rows and columns in the preview by click. In addition, you can define a condition for expanding rows or columns by default. A condition should be defined for each field that needs to be expanded by default. Open the pivot table editor, select the fields you need and click the browse button of the expand property to open the condition editor. Please note that the expand property is shown in the property grid only if your data field contains detailed data. Index variable allows you to define order number of a row or column. Value variable allows you to define a value of labels. Using these variables, mathematic and logical operators, you can create a condition for expanding by default. For example, let's expand all rows after the sixth row. Edit the condition and expand all rows after the sixth row only if the label will be equal to produce. As you can see, categories have been expanded but not the child. So, let's define a condition to expand child data. For example, these child rows will be expanded when the value label is equal to tofu. You can collapse these rows and columns in the viewer by click, but by default they have been expanded. Thanks for watching! Follow news on our social networks and subscribe to our YouTube channel. If you still have any questions, leave your comments below or send us a request to support estonstar.com. Have a good one, all the best to you!